Hey everybody, so today's quick tip is a CAD tutorial. Uh, what we're looking to do is put this pocket into a cylinder. Uh, again, this uh, topic came up in one of the Facebook groups and I thought it was a good topic, so let's go ahead and dive in. All right, so I'm gonna start with this file here. And with this file here, I actually have uh, all the steps uh, created. So we'll start with this. This will be a little easier to kind of see the workflow and then we'll do one from scratch. So to start with from a top view here, you can see I've drawn two circles, one for the outside di diameter, one for the inside diameter. Okay, so that's my first set of wireframe. Now my second set of wireframe, what I did is I drew some angles here and I trimmed it to the outside and inside dimension. So that gives me my, my pocket uh, wall uh, walls per se okay now from there the next thing I do is I extrude our outside and the inside solid uh, so we took the the first layer just did an extrusion and you can see we now have a cylinder with a hole in the center the second layer this is where we created our pocket and then what we're gonna do is cut that one away from the larger shape so we'll do a boolean for this process We'll select the outside shape, then we select the inside shape. We can see a preview, make sure it, it works out okay, we'll choose okay. And there you can see we've created our, our pocket on our cylinder, all right? So let's go ahead and create a new file from scratch. Okay, again, from a top view, we're gonna draw two cylinders. Now I'm not too concerned with the dimensions, obviously that would be based off the print. Uh, so for our example, we'll just start with two circles, okay? So we have the one, here uh, we'll say okay to that we'll add another one here uh, let's make it a little larger we'll say okay to that that gives us our first um, set of wireframe now the next thing I'm gonna do is create a new layer and make it active I'm gonna take this geometry here I'm gonna copy it okay I'll turn off that first layer and I'm gonna paste it now what I'll do is I'll draw a point at zero zero and then I'll do a line angle I can select that point location and then I can draw my angled line. So for my example here, I'm gonna say 20 degrees um, for the first one, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is say, let's make this um, 110 for the second angle. Uh, let's make this absolute, we'll go like that. All right, so that gives us, you know, basically the walls of our pocket here. Now, what I wanna do is trim away the extra geometry. So I'll go to Utilities and Quick Trim. We'll get rid of this, we'll get rid of that, and this, and this. We're just selecting on what we wanna delete and make sure they go away. All right, so I have my first layer, I have my second layer. Now what I'm gonna do is create my first solid. So I'll hide my second layer. I'm gonna rotate in 3D. Again, we'll go 3D Extrude Curve. We're gonna select both of these curves and we're gonna just make them three inches down. Okay, uh, then what I'll do is I'll go to this next layer here. Again, I'll create a new layer, hide this one. I'm gonna hide the first wireframe level uh, or layer and then this will uh, allow us to do our next extrusion. So we'll come over here, we'll extrude this one. All right, so there seems to be a trim option. Uh, you can see how I ran into a problem there. Uh, something with the geometry, you can see how there's two entities here. I'm just gonna select that smaller one and delete it. Uh, again, let's shift, left click. You can see it changed through correctly now, no problem. All right, extrude curve. We're gonna select this one. This one's only gonna be one inch down and we'll say okay. Now the pocket has fillets in the corner. So what we wanna do is add some fillets to the solid. So we'll do solid fillet. We're gonna click on each of these edges here where we want the fillet to be, okay? We'll adjust what the size of the fillet's gonna be. I'm gonna update all my geometry, show the preview, and this shows us the, the pocket that we're trying to cut out. Uh, we'll say okay and then cancel. Now what we wanna do is position or move the geometry to the proper place. Right now, this if we did a cutaway, it would be right on the face of the part. Um, so what I'm gonna do is just move this geometry down, utilities, translate, we'll select it. Uh, let's just go one inch down in Z, we'll say okay, and then cancel. 
Now the last step is to do the Boolean process. That's when we cut one model away from another. So we'll go create 3D, Boolean, subtract, keep the shape, or click on the first body that you wanna keep, click on the second body that you wanna cut away, show your preview to make sure everything worked right, choose OK to lock in your selection, and then there we have it. We have our cylinder pocket uh, using some extrusions and a Boolean process.